Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the final rack of this exciting match between Kelly Fisher and myself. It was played in Michigan in September 2022 and it was one of the very first tournaments that I played after moving to the United States. The tournament was played in a very interesting and nerve-wracking format, which is two sets races to four and if it is a decider it goes into a shootout so as you see on the scoreboard on the bottom left corner i won the first set four to one and now the score is three three in the second set so it is the final rack of the second set and if i win this rack i win the match if i would lose this rack it would go into the shootout so as you can see, I made the one on the side and immediately after the break, I looked at the table and I'm thinking to myself, there are two key shots here from two to the three and from four to the five. So if I'm able to get perfectly on the four, I should be out here and look at the angle I got for the three. It is a little bit awkward because I wanted to get more straight. Now I have to follow it and so the conversation that I had in my head, should I go one rail and out, or should I just softly kill the cue ball and leave it for the four without getting the rail? Because I had a very, very short shot clock, 30 seconds, I didn't have much time to think, obviously. So I instinctively decided to go no rail and I ended up being in a really awkward situation on the four. You see, there is a lot of traffic if we try to go from four to the five. We have eight ball, 10 ball, seven ball, a lot of balls that, a lot of things that can go wrong. So what I decided to do, I decided to play two rails, maybe even three and get the shape for the five to play it in the bottom right corner. But because of a short shot clock, I misjudged the tangent line and instead of hitting the rail first, I hit the eight ball. And now I ended up being really weird, but I was so grateful that I didn't snooker myself. That was, <laughs> that was great. I was like, okay, as long as I can see the ball, I can make it. And believe it or not, I feel really confident in this ball. Like as soon as I saw it, as soon as I go down on the ball, I was like, I'm going to make it. You know, sometimes you just have you just have this feeling that you're going to make it. And I did. I decided to play it with just topspin. The goal was just to make it. I wasn't thinking about position because I knew that the natural path will get me on the six ball. Of course, shape for the six ball wasn't perfect, but you know, I couldn't complain in that situation. So I decided to play it with top spin with a touch of left, go three rails and play shape for the side. As you can see, the table plays very quick and slippery. <laughs> Look at Tyler's face, he's sweating it. He's praying for me to get out here. Anyway, the table plays really quick and slippery, so I overran the cue ball. I was originally playing shape for the side, but I played it a little bit too fast. So now I have to play seven in the corner. I have a pretty good angle, so I just need to draw back, make sure I don't overdraw it because once again, the cloth is very quick, just like that, short and controlled. You can see I had a little bit tension in my arm because my backswing was a little too quick. So this ball, I decided to keep it simple, just top spin with a touch of right natural position for the 10 ball when it comes to high pressure situation always think about how can i make it easy for myself just play it as simple as possible trust your fundamentals and breathe <laughs> that's all you can do and here we go this is how i won the final rack of the second set on the predator michigan open Thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this format of videos let me know in the comments what would you like to see more on my channel and i will try my best to deliver thanks everyone and have a good day